Hi everyone, welcome to our second CEO chat here with the CEO of Batchbook, Pamela O'Hara, and the CTO of Direct Mail Manager, Adam White. Um, we're going to have a conversation today about interesting ways to use direct mail uh, for your business. And if you have any questions you'd like to ask our guests, you may tweet to us at Batchbook. And let's get started. Thank you so much, Christelle, and thank you very much, Adam, for joining us today. Uh, this is our second ever uh, CEO hangout, and you're the CTO, so, you know, I don't know. I think we're going to have to rename our hangout. <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you. It's, uh, you know, we, we started this series because we really wanted to get a chance to talk to the people running the businesses that, that we're working with and that we know are great companies trying to build things for small businesses and are, you know, frequently um, small businesses ourselves. Um, sounds like you guys are about the same size we are. Um, and so it's, it's kind of a unique perspective, I think, that we have um, running a business and also building product for people running businesses like ours. So thanks for uh, coming and chatting with us about it today. So I, I guess with that, if you want to just tell us a little bit about your background, sort of how you got started and what you guys are doing, um, that, that helps us get a perspective on, on you. Okay, okay. My, my personal background is um, I went to uh, college for uh, advertising and graphic design, and that's how I started in the advertising industry and huh. went through uh, from graphic designer to art director to creative director, and then decided it was time to start our, um, my own company. And um, we started Postcard Services, which is the company that owns uh, Direct Mail Manager. Uh, we started uh, almost 10 years ago. And wow. um, yeah, and we started as a marketing company, and we were helping small businesses with, um, with graphic design, logos, and websites and such. And um, it was just a hard sell with free websites popping up everywhere, GoDaddy and all those people. It was a difficult thing. So we decided to... Um, to do what we were doing a lot of, and that was direct mail. So we bought a digital printing press and um, got the domain name, Postcard Services, and uh, and it was only a couple weeks after that that we started selling more direct mail than marketing services. So that's where we started, and then um, my other background, uh, the last company I worked for was a dot-com, and um, when I was a, a creative director there, and um, so I got inundated with coding and um, how to uh, e-commerce and how to sell online. Mm -hmm. So that was the natural thing that we, we put postcard services online. And so we serviced the entire country. We didn't want to be a local, a local printer or anything like that. So, so basically we developed software that, that people can purchase direct mail and direct mail services just like a big company can without hiring staff and so forth. So that's very nice. You know, it's funny. I my very first job, um, I was an intern at an advertising agency. Um, I did it for almost a year when I was in college, my senior year in college at the Martin Agency, which is uh, in Richmond, Virginia. That's where mm -hmm. I went to school. Um, and like the most creative, yeah, fun. fun. Like that was an amazing experience. Learning that side of, you know, product development, product research, market research. Um, you know, it was, it was, I think that's a, interesting that that's your sort of start to, that's your background too. Um, so how do you, it, you know, you and I both have probably seen a lot of changes in, um, you know, how marketing is done, how advertising um, is done. I remember one of my, I, I was a design intern for a little while, then a copywriting intern, and as a design intern, literally at that point you were, you know, cutting with an exacto knife, um, typeset out, and, you know, laying out pages for magazines. Um, I'm that old, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I should probably not be uh, giving away my, my, uh, my background here. But, um, but things have changed a lot. So, you know, what, what have you seen, and um, what are you guys doing that, that helps, you know, especially small businesses take advantage of now so much technology handles all of all of these things that used to be so expensive and take so long to do. Well, the first thing we did was um, uh, years ago was we, we built a, what we call an online designer. 
and that was where people could, and we were honestly one of the first people to have one. And um, people could pick a template, edit it online, it was all flash based, and um, and design postcards. And we really built our company on just, just replacing the graphic designer. <laughs> you know, wow. it, was it really helped small businesses because uh, as a graphic designer, I, I know we can be hard to work with. So, <laughs> and, and expensive, right? So, right. Um, so that's how we started. And then we started adding things like, well, making it easy to order direct mail and then making it um, easy to purchase mailing lists. We use mailing list tools and things like that. And because we develop everything here, we whatever wild dream we had, we made and the requests we got from customers, we would, you know, put in a, a queue and see if we had something we'd get more requests for and we would mm -hmm. you know, we would build it. And um, so one of the things that we and the almost the final piece of everything that we built was direct mail manager because it literally works like email except the physical postcard comes out the other end. So it's um, we wanted to make it just that simple. So now that we have that, we can that is being integrated into Batchbook. It's being integrated into uh, QuickBooks. It's being integrated into all sorts of software, and we created an open API. So it's it's easy to integrate because the main thing about direct mail is data. Mm -hmm. you know, where's your data coming from? Is it is it existing customers? Are you purchasing new data? Those kind of, those are the should be everyone's first question when they're doing direct mail, not what color the postcard should be. Right. You know, really start with who your customer is, then you can target the mailing around who you're mailing to. So so we're just trying to simplify it for, for customers and, and um, by tying it into web applications and um, software as a service programs we're able to do. Exactly that. So. And it's it's gotten much easier to do the the sort of short runs, I guess you would call it. But the you know, if I've only got fifteen customers that really benefit, it used to be that you just you couldn't afford to only print, yeah. <laughs> you know, a, a, a small number of you know really personalized um, sort of messages, mm -hmm. much more targeted messages, and yeah, now that's there. much easier. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without digital printing presses. Yeah. Well, well so. We've always been a digital printing shop mm -hmm. because we don't. I we sell plenty of million piece mailings and things like that, but the bread and butter here is definitely digital. Because yeah. I wonder when the small business comes and they want a hundred postcards. We were when we started, uh, the hundred postcards was the minimum, and yeah. we were probably one of uh, of uh, it, when we started. There was only like twenty of us online, and now there's hundreds and hundreds of postcard printers, but. We were the only ones printing 100 postcards, hmm. and that's that's why that was our target market. The big printer didn't want that customer, right? And it was the small business, you know, that's what they needed. Yeah. So, so we filled that void there. Mm -hmm. That's neat. So, what are tell us some of the things that people are doing with their direct mail piece? Some creative things that people are doing. I know um, we talked a little bit the other day about how. Um, there was sort of the heyday of direct mail, and that's what I think a lot of people think of as the, you know, your your um, post box would be full of, you know, all sorts of things that didn't apply to you, or you would get the same thing every other day from your bank type stuff. Um, but now you don't see as much of that because everyone went to email. So now your email box is full of, you know, <laughs> stuff from the <laughs> bank. And, yeah, exactly. You can you can uh, you can see a lot of stuff. So what what are some you know the creative more personal things that you guys are seeing from your customers? Well, the key to digital printing, of course, is the personalization. Mm -hmm. You can do um, whatever's in your database can printed or utilized on the card or the printed mail piece in some way. Um, you know, simple, simply putting the person's name on the card, and this is the same thing with email. When you put the person's name at the top of the email, the response rate and the open rate and uh, the return on investment, everything changes. You know, it's it's totally different. It's the same with um, postcards. You know, you have a postcard. I just grabbed a couple here. A postcard like this, you see the person's name is just right there, the, and it's printed the same color as the copy. It looks like it was made for you, and simple things like that. Um, but they do obviously. There's more intensive variables as far as giving that person the offer that they wanted. We always talk about the 
person who bought the couch, you know, you can offer them the matching chair if you're yeah. a furniture store. You know, that's a simple explanation. So the variables um, are, are, are the best way that people stand out. The other ways that they're using, and I want to give one example of this direct mail piece that I think I tweeted about uh, a couple weeks ago. It was a Canadian auto dealer, a Porsche dealer. I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but if you wanted to search for uh, Porsche in your driveway in Google, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> they drove around Canada in this area in Canada and uh, took pictures of a Porsche in front of your house. Oh my God. And then they, nice. then, they, then they printed it out and it said the headline was, it's closer than you think. And it was literally <laughs> a Porsche in front of your house and then they got a 32% you know, response rate. Wow. And they only mailed, you know, a couple hundred postcards, you know. But for a Porsche dealer to get 32% response, I mean, if you sell two Porsches, I mean, you pretty much make them up. Right. <laughs> anyway, so that was one of the things I thought was, was really great that people were doing. I mean, that could be more personalized. Yeah. More, um, you know, done that way. So that's, you know, that's what people are doing. They're doing a lot of uh, self-mailers and folded mailers, which is more like something, something like, like this here, we do these here too. This is a, you know, it opens up inside like this. It's glued, it's glued shut. I don't want to open it up. <laughs> and you can give a lot more information, you know, mm -hmm. the postcard. And then the final thing, of course, is the um, is the cross channel integration, which is the big buzzwords with yeah. QR codes leading to web pages, leading to online ordering, and leading to more information. And so that's the biggest thing right now for us is QR codes and and scanning and smartphone and mobile. So mm -hmm. that's big for, for our customers are using it like crazy, especially realtors. Realtors use it an, an awful lot. So. so what types of things are realtors doing? So what they'll do is we have a, we actually operate a completely separate website for realtors because that's uh -huh. how big they are of a market um, to us. And what they do is they do what's called farming. And farming is telling everybody on your list constantly that you're here, you're doing work, you're successful. I mean, you've, you've definitely seen the just sold cards, the just listed cards. And sometimes you look at them and you're, I don't think this, but as an outside, a person outside of the direct industry would say, why are you telling me this? And uh, it's because that house, if you look at it, normally the house is down the street from you. You know, they, they, they pick neighborhoods using map tools uh, that are available from us and online and other places too. But they map tools and pick neighborhoods and tell those people that they're selling houses in your neighborhood. So if you're yeah. on the fence, you know, thinking about doing it, then they might be the person to call. So, so they're doing that. And then, of course, when they do a just listed, it almost always has a QR code leading mm -hmm. to a mobile page with all the information and the statistics on the house, plus the rest of their listings. You know that they do that too. So, so that's what that's what realtors have been doing. And the other thing they do is they do the um, um, the uh, they run a report based on what the houses are selling in your area, mm -hmm. and, um, and they'll print that and put those on postcards. That's very popular. So a listing of all the homes that sold in your area and so forth. So, so that's what the, that's what the real estate the people there and they're and they're constantly marketing the successful reels. Realtor it never stops. They send postcards, you know, every other week. You know, the ones that we see. So. Yeah, I think that um, we have we have a lot of uh, real estate agents as well um, mm -hmm. using Batchbook, and I think um, you know because it is such a personal um, profession. Basically, you know, how you decide who you're going to work with to buy your house. Is a personal decision. It's you know you're entrusting this person to basically create the environment that you're going to live in or for the next 10, 15, 20 years, and uh, so that you know, and and the average person I think buys a new house every. It's now down to like eight years. Yeah. So you you have to think, you know, the person you just sold the house to is going to be your customer. <laughs> Not not that too far down the road, they're probably going to have a few kids and yeah, true, start looking true. again in a few years. Mm -hmm. um, so they do just maintain this long term connection, which I think is, um, you know, we love that. We love um, you know that type of business that really spends a lot of time with their customers before yeah. the sale, after the sale. You know, it's really a 
a lifelong thing. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the things, um, like, like what are some of the mistakes that people make, um, you know, when they're starting out, like, okay, you've sold me, I'll do a, you know, postcard campaign, the holidays are coming up, maybe yeah. I should do something, like, what, what should I avoid? Yeah. Well, the big, we, one of the things we tried to, um, to fix was that people do get hung up on the artwork. They come in and they say, "Well, what am I going to put on the? What am I going to do? What am I going to put on the card?" Before we even talk about who you, who's receiving the card, yeah. they get hung up on that. So we, we think that's one of the biggest um, hang-ups. Um, then um, the next thing is they're not understanding um, that how important it is to match your current demographic of your customer to new customers. So the post office, like you've probably heard of, every door direct mail. It's everywhere. It's on television all the time. We do a lot of that here, mm -hmm. but a lot of the times we end up selling those people what's called a saturation mailing, which you can actually pick the neighborhood that it's going to, not just not just blanket a, 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 a radius or things like that. So um, it, it's important unless you're a, a pizza, like we, uh, one of our examples. Unless you're a pizza restaurant, you don't necessarily want to hit every house, and you shouldn't waste the money. We believe that, you know, with direct mail manager and integrating into CRMs, you know, we believe that you should be stop the mail blasting, which you've seen, as you said earlier, has stopped. Your mailbox is not as full as it used to be, right. uh, and just target, and really, really target your message, and you'll have much better results. You'll spend a lot less money, and um, and so that that's probably so that I would say is overpaying. You know, customers make the mistake of one thing, and and it used to be five thousand piece minimum, like we were talking about. Right. Yeah. And you get the five thousand pieces, you get five thousand names, and you hold your breath and you send it. You know, now it's you know send one hundred and fifty to your customers and upsell them on the product that they didn't purchase, or tell them about the new product, tell them how much you like them. You know that any of those right. things, but the tangible piece helps a lot. And then the uh, the biggest mistake that people make is they. And we correct this a lot, you know. Like you said, we really do work with our customers. We don't just print what you give us. We we give you our marketing expertise and, yeah. and the call to action. A lot of people are missing the call to action. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's you know, you got a phone number on there. It's like, but you didn't tell me what what I should do. What do I do next? So people look at the card or the mail piece and they say, "I love this. This is great." It should be very clear what the next step is. Yeah. To either acquiring the product or finding out more information and so forth. So, so we help people a lot with with that, and that's that's where you know professional marketers mm -hmm. help. You know, instead of floating on your own out there, putting something together and, and hoping it works. And, um, so, those are some of the biggest mistakes I think. Newbies. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it, you know, sort of back to the where we started with being a small business yourself, I think you can really identify with and provide that oh, yeah. pers the personal touch yourself in that you can say, look, this is, you know, mm -hmm. make your dollar go as far as it can. Cause it, exactly, exactly. <laughs> People are starting these businesses and you always hear that, you know, new businesses that don't last more than two years. You know, that happens so often and we were just, how can, how can we get, not only because if, they, if we can help them be successful, then they'll be in business for longer than two years, and hopefully they, they'll stay with us and continue using direct mail. But it's it is um, they need help. You yeah. know, they need they need help doing that. Um, it's it's not it's not again it's not that blanket approach anymore. You need you need to really be direct. These people are like you were saying are being bombarded from television, email, and everything. Yeah. You got to somehow break that clutter with your piece, your mail piece. So, right. It's okay. We don't, so you mentioned you had a um, Canadian client. Do you do a lot of international, or is it largely just just Canada? Canada. We yeah. do we do Canada because we can. They're sort of international, right? Uh, yeah, they do get an international on their on the postcard. There's an international, um, yeah. but the rest of the international um, we've looked into into uh, Europe and doing it in Europe. It's a whole other animal. You know, it's it's not the post office. It's Royal Mail and all these different types of companies, and it does not work the same way. <laughs> so, so we focus on the United States, but we do a lot of Canadian. When we started, when we started the real estate business, uh, the RealtyPostcard.com, uh, that kind of required Canada. Mm. Realtors in Canada were very active 
when the realtors here were not okay. you know, a couple <laughs> years ago. So it actually helped us out a lot by doing Canada. But it costs it costs a lot for them to mail from the United States to Canada. It's not it's, uh, it's not cheap. So anyway. interesting. We have um, we do a. Uh, champions program and so we have um, you know a bunch of folks that we spend or uh, send gifts to we'll send um, not just mail but chocolate sometimes and, yeah, I got those. Uh, again excellent <laughs> see you're one of our champions um, but yeah we have we do a lot of business with a lot of people internationally and uh, uh, yeah kind of well, it's becomes, good you becomes more that. difficult yeah. <laughs> when you're doing well, it's funny you mentioned, that you mentioned that package you send out because three-dimensional mail, or uh -huh. dimensional mail as it's called, the, the return on investment of it is, is usually out of sight. I mean, it's huge yeah. numbers. And, yeah. But it costs the most to mail mm -hmm. and put together. And um, But if you're doing it the way you're doing it, as piece by piece, mm -hmm. by piece you, you know, it's a good return on investment. It really impressed me when I got it. You oh, know, well, thanks. I was impressed. <laughs> so. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, of course, we use batch book, and that's that's sort of how we use it. We had, you know, you, as you said, you can um, put together different lists, and so there are lists that just, you know, tend to get email communications. There are folks that will get, um, you know, mail, and then there's special special champions like you, um, who will get uh, something different, whether it's lollipops or uh, chocolate or, um, you know whatever we, uh, so, and there's some people, we have a lot of people who write into customer service um, and our customer service team uh, is empowered to send out something whenever they nice. feel like some, you know, and if you're especially nice to our customer service team, like you, so, get, you get really good gifts, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, and that's, you know, part of what we feel like, especially when you're a virtual company, Mail is one of the best ways to to directly interact with people. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's just a little bit more, um, you know, more of a connection than just sending an email. So, we we use that a lot. Um, so, I don't know. Do you have any questions for us on uh, what we're doing, or um, you know, how the uh, how do you? Well, I have a I have a quite a business question. Sure. Because we because we do integrate with um, different CRMs. How do you compete or stand out amongst all the different CRMs that are available? I mean, it, there's just so many so many of them. You know, there there are a few others, and uh, <laughs> yeah, a couple. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Google CRM. Even if you Google small business CRM, there's yeah, right. there's a few out there. Um, you know, we have always been really focused on very early stage and small businesses, and you know, the industry can will identify a small business as under 500 employees, and that's yeah. a very different business than the real estate agent, you know, or than the five person or ten person or like us, you know, fifteen to twenty person shop. I mean, their needs are very different, and so we really. Um, you know, tried to, uh, we honestly in the beginning didn't even identify ourselves as a CRM. We said we're just, you know, a, a tool for small businesses. And it just so happens that the most important thing that they need is to stay connected to their, um, their network. Uh, in the beginning, it's not even your customers. Maybe it's, you know, your mom <laughs> and mm -hmm. your brothers and sisters. And they're friends, and uh, then all of a sudden you do get a few customers. Um, those folks are really vital to your business, and so it's really, you know, from our perspective, it's really about um, staying very well connected with um, all of those people that are helping you grow your business. Because when you're at that stage of a business, as much of what you're doing is learning who your market is, learning what their needs are, learning, you know, how to price your product. I mean, it's the very fundamentals you're still figuring out. It's a lot of the CRMs are geared more to, you know, you've, you've had some success, you've got that stuff figured out, you just need to figure out how to scale it. You know, hire a sales team to come in and just, you know, build those numbers 
point the hockey stick up. We, we really focus on the businesses that are in that early. We're still figuring it out, and so it's especially important to capture sort of all the information coming out of the people that we're talking to now, you know, that you're going to get as much sort of market research and, you know, <clears throat> information about your business as you are a sale <laughs> from those early customers. And a lot of times you'll get the market research and not the sale, <laughs> but that's just as important to you. So, um, yeah, yeah, so that's what we do. Well, it sounds very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, and, and actually, I'm, and that's why we're having this 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 meeting. But yeah. it sounds it sounds just totally what we did. I mean, that's exactly the same thing. Just provide the product that small businesses we felt that they were lacking, mm -hmm. and and try to do it in a way that's as painless and easy to use as as possible. So um, yeah, that's great. That's great, and it is. It's hard to it is hard to attract the customers. I know that the marketing part of it is is to get above the clutter. You know, um, you know, as many CRMs as there are, you can only imagine how many online printers there are. Yeah, right. Yeah. But again, but you didn't call yourself a CRM, and, and you know, our our tagline is direct mail that fits your business. Right. Tagline, and that's what we did. You know, and so I. I Oh, yeah. You just sound like it's it, it, our two companies. It's a very simple, similar, yeah. you know, follow the same kind of path. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Well. Yeah. And here that, we are. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. There's a, there's a reason that we found each other. <laughs> I think the little hearts. You know, when we animate this later, we'll make the little hearts go above. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so, I think that's all I had. Um, I know that you. One of the ideas we talked about where to get cool ideas for doing oh. for direct mail. Oh yes, please. I tell you, I tell you what what um, designers do and have been doing for years now is go do a Google image search for whatever you're looking for. So real real estate postcard of design, or you know um, uh, financial seminar planning postcard, you know, and see what comes up. And then um, there's a couple other things that I was, as I was writing some notes for the meeting, um, uh, delivermagazine.com is the magazine by the post office. And actually, they, and as a, <laughs> as a graphic designer, I would assume that the, that the magazine that comes from the post office would be the most awful looking <laughs> government regulated um, magazine. It's the most beautiful, totally cool magazine. Wow. And you could probably get it delivered, but it, it, it comes, um, they have an online version, and again, it's delivermagazine.com, and it's, uh, oh, it's, it's amazing. And it shows success stories of people using direct mail. Um, it shows all sorts of cool ideas, and it's a pretty cool website. The website's really nice, too. And then the third one that, I, that we tend to go to a lot around here is Adweek, and okay. adweek.com, and that's my background, <laughs> you know, and I, I tell our designers, I go, why don't you just go see what's happening there, you know, spend 15, 20 minutes looking around because you'd be just, creative juices just go crazy when you go there because those are the highest end ad agencies in their work and if, if they're doing it, it must be important, so take, yeah. take a look at it and see how you can incorporate some of the concepts into, into our customers' designs. We do an awful lot of custom design around here, too. Um, for the people that their product doesn't fit our templates, which is, it seems, lately it's about every other customer. <laughs> so, um, you know, and so we have to stay fresh and new, and just like a, just like a small ad agency for, for our business, and our small business customers, stay fresh. That's very cool and very fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, uh, thanks, thanks very much for the uh, information. That um, sure. surprising to hear about the post office website. I'm excited <laughs> to go look at that now. I almost had to run away and go look at it. Um, and for everybody watching, keep an eye out in November. We're going to have a big holiday promotion going on with a direct mail manager and using the batch book integration, you'll be able to send out Christmas cards. <laughs> and that's a or other holiday cards. Right, yeah, yeah holiday yeah. cards. Um, it's a batch book uh, staff favorite. We've been waiting for this for a couple of years to have the ability to do that, so we're super excited about that. And we have a special guest coming in October, so watch the blog um, for more information about that and our Twitter at Batchbook. Thanks. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. All right, it was nice talking to you guys. Thank you.
you too. Bye, you too. Bye.